Uh, in this short video on Moodle, we're going to take a look at the student roster and just some features therein. So once you're in your Google, uh, sorry, once you're in your Moodle class, if you come here to participants, you will see a listing of everybody in the course and their roles. Uh, what I really like about this page is it gives you a good amount of information, right? So it gives you their email address. Uh, it gives you what their role is in the course. It tells you if they belong to any group. So if you're using the group feature, it lets you know uh, what groups they may belong to. And then it also lets you know when they last access this course. Um, so for instance, if we're, you know, three days into an online asynchronous course and, you know, this student hasn't actually signed in yet, I might start to get a little bit concerned. So I may, you know, check their box and then under here, um, I have an opportunity to send them a message. So I could send them a message and that message would be, you know, hi, just checking in to see how, some kind of message. Um, that you know indicates interest in, in wanting to make sure the student gets that support. So once I send that message, uh, the student it will receive it within the Moodle environment, and then also an email will be sent to them, probably about a half hour out, letting them know somebody has messaged them. Now I may also want to, once I've done that, uh, make a note of it. And so I can actually add a note to the student, and I can add a note that is either personal, course, or site. Personal means largely I should be the only one having access to it. That's not 100% perfect because of how these systems work, but by and large, uh, that would be something I'm making note of. Course would be for anybody that is an anybody that has instructor level uh, abilities would also see that. And site would mean any instructor to which the student is in their course, they would have access to it. So typically, I'm going to stick with course just in case you know there's somebody else that's in the course that this would be another instructor from co-teaching or, or a teaching assistant, etc. So uh, I might do something like reached out on this date uh, to check in, just so I have that as my own note about you know what's been going on in the stu with the student. Um, so that's that's you know that's one thing you can kind of take a look at. The other is if for some reason you want to download their uh, download information, uh, you can select the the participants that you want come down to here and uh, download them as uh, any one of these particular documents. Um, so I might choose, you know, download as a, as a spreadsheet. And then when I open it, uh, it doesn't give me a lot of information. And that's okay. It doesn't necessarily need to. Uh, it gives me the first name, first name, surname, and that's not even, it's really their usernames uh, in this case. And then their email. Um, so this is when I might use this to kind of get an email list for the for, for the participants if I have something I want to send them outside of Moodle. All right, that is the course roster or participant section of Moodle. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.